COVID-19 pandemic and resulting lockdowns hit many South Africans hard. Thousands of people have lost their jobs, their income, and with that, their hope for a bright future. These two young businessmen from Kloof and Durban decided to turn their heartbreak into a success story. They saw a gap in the market and created an innovative online platform where people can buy and sell a wide range of creative products, and they call it Our Local Market. Our Local Market basically stems from this, this yearning to help the small guy, help the, the local vendor, the local entrepreneur to, to try and capitalize as well on their creativity. We thought, let's create our local market, keep it local, keep it in the upper highway. I was in video photography, I was making travel films, traveling around Africa, filming luxury lodges, and at the time I was living my dream. And uh, then lockdown happened, the tourism industry took a hit, and uh, yeah, things changed. Without farmers markets running during the lockdown, local vendors could not sell their goods and products and could not make a living. Brandon and Cameron saw the need to move farmers markets online. They know that the world is going virtual and that the concept of online business can be daunting for many people. They created our local market to give people that little bit of hope for the future. Our local market is just one aspect of Brandon and Cameron's larger business, Our Little Company, which consists of three interlinked businesses. The process begins at G's Hydro, a hydroponic farm in Pinetown where up to 2,000 plants are grown at a time. Farming is something that is destroying the earth faster than anything else. When we have fields and fields and fields of one type of crop, we are, we are actually destroying the soil. Hydroponics also uses 90% less water than traditional farming methods. There's no evaporation. You, know, you can do it indoors, you can do it in small spaces, you can produce a, a surplus of food with um, a very small space. The initial seedlings are grown at G's Hydro and distributed between our local market, local buyers, and a third business venture, the Permaculture Project. Bill Mollison defined permaculture as a design system for creating sustainable human environments. Permaculture is a passion for Brandon and Cameron, who saw the disconnect between people and nature and wanted to bring everyone back down to earth again. Everything that exists in nature has a purpose, and that purpose has to be understood. So we started something called the Permaculture Project to try and teach kids to understand that every single thing has a purpose and everything has a role. And if you can understand that role, then you can use it to your benefit. With the Permaculture Project, we saw that we could try to encourage and empower the next generation. We teach them about the organisms in the soil. And those organisms in the soil play their role and they're protected by what we put on. And we call that, well, that's called mulch. So we mulch the land. And what that does is that just protects the organisms in the soil. So instead of destroying them or leaving them bare, we protect them because even the smallest little thing is the most important. Those are the most important. So we're trying to teach these kids that there's, there's a reason for everything and that they can take the principles that they learn from us and take it into the business world. It's been inspiring, you know, for ourselves to see what we're capable of, to hear the stories from other people. And if anything, the support of the community has been something great. Brandon and Cameron say that they're not trying to turn everyone into farmers. They just need us to understand that everything has a purpose and every person has a role to play. Although they admit that starting a business during a pandemic has been less than ideal, the support they have received from the local Durban community has been something incredible.